turmeric, that yellow spice that we use in cooking and curry powders. Men are taking turmeric for their libido, to help with erections, to last longer in bed, and even to improve the quality of their semen. So if you're looking for a boost in any of these departments, could more turmeric in your life benefit you? Here's a recent article from DNA, an Indian news outlet. Five science-based benefits of turmeric. Hmm, well, we like science-based. Turmeric gives relief from premature ejaculation. Sometimes premature ejaculation occurs at night due to excessive fatigue. Okay, PE sometimes occurs at night. And yes, tiredness can be a factor. Though some guys last longer when they're tired, actually, because it dampens down their arousal a bit. Anyway, if the partner does not feel satisfaction during sex, try using turmeric and honey. It's better to lick turmeric mixed with honey than to consume any medicine. Well, if your partner isn't feeling satisfaction during sex, you might be better off licking your partner. Just throwing that out there. Take another article and it talks about the positive effects of turmeric on male libido. It suggests that turmeric can help with blood flow and erectile function and can boost your testosterone levels. Now, this article quotes research studies using rats. And to be fair, it uses more moderate language. Benefits could be achieved from taking turmeric. Studies suggest that turmeric might be helpful. And you'll see that kind of careful wording around a lot of supplements and natural remedies. And I think that's fair enough. That's better than making big promises that aren't backed up by hard science. Now, I'm a believer in the awesomeness of curry and all the spices that make it so awesome. If curry and turmeric could help with sexual difficulties, that would be the best news ever for a lot of guys. And turmeric is one of those natural remedies that have been used for thousands of years and we can learn from these old ways and wisdoms. Yet at the same time, just because something has been believed since the olden days doesn't make it true or useful. In the case of turmeric, we're talking about curcumin. That's the main active ingredient with the anti-inflammatory and the antioxidant properties. And turmeric powder only has about 3% curcumin. So you'd have to eat like an entire bag of turmeric to get that curcumin in any real big quantity. So there goes the eat more curry theory, sadly. As for the sexual health benefits of curcumin, most of these articles quote the same 2015 study. Researchers gave ginger and curcumin to rats with high blood pressure to see whether it could help with their reproductive function. Hypertension, high blood pressure, it's a known cause of erectile dysfunction. And the results seem positive. The rat's testosterone levels were less impacted, so curcumin might help in this respect. But it was a study of rats and high blood pressure and reproduction. Does this mean curcumin can help with libido and premature ejaculation in human males? Very indirectly, if at all, I would say. Other studies have suggested curcumin might boost our feel-good brain chemicals like dopamine and serotonin. Now, we know that serotonin plays a role in arousal and ejaculation. So again, there might be a link there, but the research isn't conclusive, and there are loads of ways that we can raise our serotonin levels and feel the benefits. See my other video for some top tips on that. But that's as far as the scientific evidence goes. There is no firm evidence that turmeric or curcumin has any beneficial effect on premature ejaculation, erections, or sex drive in human males. That said, turmeric is good for you. It really does have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, so get some in your diet by all means. Use turmeric in your cooking, take it with honey. It's safe and it's nutritional. Supplements and, and shots, well, they could be beneficial too, but just check with your doctor first if you have iron deficiency, gallstones, or liver issues. Curcumin can aggravate these things if you up the intake. But if you're struggling with your libido or premature ejaculation or your erections, 
don't expect turmeric or curcumin supplements to make any difference at all. Guys tend to read these articles and they hope for a quick fix, so they order the supplements, quite often expensive supplements, and then they feel a bit more hopeless when these things don't work. Of course they do. That's time and effort that you could be investing in a more proven approach to getting your sex drive sorted. Now, yes, I'm a psychologist, so I'm a bit biased on these things, but working on your sexual skills and your mindset is the way to go. And it starts with knowing how to physically relax. Creating a calm environment in your body and in your lower body, getting used to moving and receiving pleasure in this mode. Now I have a self-help course and more resources linked in the description all about that. And your lifestyle, your sleep, your exercise, your nutrition, including turmeric, this gives you the foundation for upping your sexual game. Absolutely. Just have a healthy scepticism when it comes to supplements, natural remedies, all these things that promise a quick fix. If you'd like to share your experiences with turmeric or anything else that you found helpful, or if I've missed something in the science, please do let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching.